Lo mat tu jemini watching on Bill TV's Prime at Nine now headlines. United States spokesman has said that it would not endorse Rahul Gandhi's statement that Modi-led PJP government is bringing China and Pakistan closer together. Congress leader Rahul Gandhi in the lower house alleged that the center's foreign policy is bringing China and Pakistan closer. Congress Member of Parliament from Lok Sabha, Adil Chaudhary, on February 2nd said that Rahul Gandhi's speech in the House has created panic in PJP. While commenting on Pegasus Row, he said, it is not just a judicial issue but a national issue. Speaking on the police reforms, Uttar Pradesh Chief Minister Yogi Arijanaut on February 3 said that Uttar Pradesh is the first state to deploy women police personnel at all Gram Panchayats. Business Owners Association of New Market Dimapur today made a complaint against the officials of Sales Tax Department for carrying out tax collections from business owners without issuing any proper chalan. Business Owner Association of New Market Dimapur today made a complaint against the officials of Sales Tax Department for carrying out tax collection from business owners without issuing any proper chalan. Levitu Sema, media secretary of the association, said that collection of taxes by the sales tax department from the business owners of New Market Dimapur without issuing any proper chalan has been going on for the past 10 years. Levito further questioned about where the generated revenue is being utilized and also the transparency of this matter. In this regard, our reporter Jivan Rai spoke to the officials of the mentioned association and department. Let's have a look at the detailed report. Sales tax laga officials can pray gana new market the tax uthole start kursi kursi aji morning the. Tui time the new market laga gambura or new market business owners association ta khan dole itu kotha dolo against ulai se. Tui itu kotha ta khan dolo jamila ulai se. Aye bhi ami gan detail the itu tax sales tax la apoli itu kotha janiwo itu jamila bhi janiwo. Aye the ami khan lo the ta khan la media secretary se business owners association. New market lagai with details the janibu. Yes, sir. Welcome to Hornbill TV. Yeah, I'm going to janibu paru. Kila jamila ulai sir. Sales tax are of near association majute. Acha, sabe since from 10 to 15 years they have been collecting the money without issuing any chalan. So, I'm going to ask you 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 to इतो तो अपना लोगों को ले तो पैसा तो दीगे ना चालन तो दीगे ना तो पैसा मांगी भी है ना ले तो इन्हीं का तो डायरेक्ट तो ना मांगी भी कोई ना आमिखान ताकांगे कोई शिले तो ताती पर आमिखान वो लोग इन्हें उलाज जिसी है तो लाइक रिसेंटली ताहन इधर चालन नदी के ना इधर तो शिदा है कि ना वन थाउजे� since like 15 to 10 years when our collection group in our city it will have even it could just say are you to the killer public issue no good it will have man to go to go in a time you go to the time video to open it again it will go down be the challenge or issue good in a jazz it as a challenge like something to keep on push a cut you like a challenge like something to let it to the time to do come to say in a down or to do to have something to handle was it like kumba 1500 kumba 3000 kumba 2500 in a color cross it on the तो फिक्स रेट तो नहीं नहीं क्या तो टिल ना होता तो एको फिक्स नहीं रेट तो ओके अमिगा नहीं तो कुन बा बिजनेस ऑनर्स कंज होते हो पर वो तखान के पौला दे तो चालन ना दे आजीगली तो चालन इतिहास निगन कंप्लेन करो अभी से चालन पाए इन्हें का कुन बा को हो पर वो 
Oh itu ini itu juga nasi tangan recent lah ini itu kurang lah itu tak hidup baru lah mungkin. Aibu ah mungkin itu calon di kena tax tu thay na nu thay itu business dokan malik kan lo tu hidup. Afni kan lah business owners association lah kan perkaya sese. Bina calon di kena pola itu sales tax utai thay isu isu. Tu itu itu kiman hossa sese kiman misa sese afni ikbar itu ah mungkin kita kui di. Ayah sese na. Ah pihet itu thay kui sese. कि प्रोफेशन टैक्स लगा से ना ये तो तो होता ही साल दी था के ना ये तो साल दो बजे ली आई से हाँ ठीक है से तो ताई कोई से कि नाम कोई भी नाम कोई से दुकान लगा नाम होती से नाम दुकान लगा नाम कोई से मॉल लगा नाम कोई से तो भी कोई से ना को आप इच्छा ताई कोई से कि फिफ्टीन हंड्रेड दी भी और सिलिप एक ता छोटा स तो मैं दी बोले अभी रेडी हुआ नहीं मतलब इतिहास लाइसेंस सुलाई था किसे ना ये तो तब तो मैं लगा अपनी मटकल का गांव उड़ा और तो खाना इसे ताई कोई से पैसा तो न दी भी हाँ ये तो तो चलन लोग लगे तो पीछे ताई चलन हम इनके दिस है तो ये तो चलन चलन है तो ऐसे सर तो अपनी कौन एस्ट्रेशन लगा ऑफिशियल्स पैसा इन्हें खातो पैसा नालो बलागे तो पीछे जो ताई ताई चलाने तो दिसे तो इमान साल तो चलान दिया नहीं गुले अपनी कंकीली कंप्लेन करा नहीं ये तो तो अमी खान तो मानते ना ये तो खाने मांग दिमाग ते नहीं अमी खान इतने बिजनेस ऑनर लोटी भी जानी से इतने अमी खान इतने एक बार मीडिया सेक्रेटरी ऑफ बिजनेस ऑनर्स एसोसिएशन न्यू मार्केट लोटे आरु कोठा जानी बो यस इतु चलन तो इतस अपनी कन साई सब ते किमन वैली दसी किमन नहीं जो वैली तो इतने तो तामे खान तो कबो ना पर होले भी तो तो दिस इस फॉर ट्वेंटी � we are going to file an RTI. Kila mana ini challenge tu diye nasi for one year. Oli tahan kun collection kurasi tu lah iku like signature pi nai silpi nai. Aro itu officer lah iku nalihi nasi aro kali itu he one thousand five hundred itu lihi nasi and like this is for two thousand twenty two and twenty three itu lihi nasi tahan tu. Ami kan nite aro ekta dukan nikta tiai si itu according to business owners association tahan lah isapte. तो ताई की भी लोग होती हो अपनी लोग दीवी इतु टेक्स्ट तो लूँ शे इतु तो अमी ना जाने ताई का नहीं तो दिखी ना जाइशे मुई के वो ले मुई तो कोबो ना पारे सभी इतु कौन सब दुकान ला नंबर ना इकु भी ना नो डेट नो इयर्स तो इतु की ये ला कलेक्शन करा सको वो आरु इतु दुकान ला मालिक तो कौन है स डिटेल्स भी ना लिखी है ना इनका ब्लैंक ही रखी है ना जे तो ये तो तो आमे हम तो नामानी बोलते हैं ये तो तो लिखी है ना जे दानागलन प्रोफेशंस ट्रेड्स कॉलिंग्स एंड इम्प्लॉयमेंट एक्सेशन एक्ट 1968 फ्रॉम सिक्स चलन ये तो लिखी है ना जे सिग्नेचर का निकू भी ना है सभी खाली स्टेम सिल सिग्नेचर निकू आरो इतु तो क्या करनी कलेक्शन करा से विदाउट एनी डिटेल्स ना दी गया ना तो इतु रिव्यू नहीं तो कोट जासे अमेरिका में जाने वाला मना से फ्रॉम लास्ट टेन तू फिफ्टीन इयर्स पर कलेक्शन करा तो इन टर्म्स ऑफ किमन कलेक्शन करे ना थाई वो आरो इतु ला रिव्यू नहीं तो कोट जाये ना से इतु अमेरिका म अमी कन इतने सेल्स टैक्स तकान डिपार्टमेंट ला ऑफिशियल्स कन जून्दे इतने टैक्स करते हैं से और आगे ते अमी कन बिजनेस ऑनर्स एसोसिएशन न्यू मार्केट ला साइट ला स्टोरी तो होनी जाइए से और बिजनेस दुकान कन ला तो अमी कन ऑल ऑफ कोई भी रखी हुआ इतने ऑफिशियल्स कन के यस सर इतु तकान ला कंप्लेन ओ तो पुला तो चालन पर्सनल ताकन के दिले ताकन न पड़े गए बोलने अम्म यान टैक्स तो वो था वो इना वो ना चालन तो क्रेक कोई ना दिपोजी कोई वो लेवी दिस योर ताकन तो क्रेक इना पर्सनल दिव्य को ऐसे दुकाने अम्म यान इन्हीं दिव्य से इन्हीं फादर इंक्वारी दुकान जाना ऑफिस दे है इंक्वारी वो सामिया लास्ट 
তো আমি এখানে এটা বোর্ড সাইড অফ দ্য স্টোরিজ তো নি যাই একটা সেলস টেক্স ডিপার্টমেন্ট আর একটা বিজনেস অনার্স এসোসিয়েশন আর গামবুড়া খান লোদে নিউ মার্কেট লাগা আমি এখান ইটু স্টোরি ফলো আপ ফার্ডার জানিব কারণে হর্নবিল টিভি সাইড থাকি To have a short discussion on this matter, we'll be joined by our senior news analyst, Al from the newsroom. Hi, Al. Thank you so much for joining us tonight as well. So, uh, moving on with this uh, discussion here, why is issuing a chalan necessary in uh, all transactions that involve goods and services? Could you please give us some input on that? Uh, yeah. Uh, before we get into the story about what is happening at New Market and the grievances of the business owners there, and of course, we had... We have a little story also from the sales tax department and some of the officials there. Before we get into that, uh, I think we'll talk a little bit about why it's very important to have a receipt. First thing, uh, first, uh, a receipt or a memo is a proof, an evidence that you received a service. And in exchange for that service, you paid something. It's a record. It's a record of transparency on for for both the issuer and uh, and on the side of the recipient also. It is a, it is a proof of exchange that a legal exchange took place. And second, it is a proof that this particular piece of information written on a piece of paper is legal and it will go into the bookkeeper's records of the government. So that should there be any disputes in the future, it is a legal document that can stand in the face of a police enforcement action. It could stand in the, it can stand in the court of law. So this is not just a piece of paper. I, when we were children, our mothers used to tell us, whenever you go to the shop, buy a kilo of sugar, please ask for a cash memo. That's what we were told. And even in the case of sales and tax, taxation, receipts are very important. And now I just want to clarify here something. Uh, we've been hearing a lot about Chalan in this case. Uh, Chalan is actually a receipt that is used only in the circle of traffic and traffic regulations in India, but not for any, any other thing. But here we are talking about uh, business tax, so I, I'm a little bit confused here. Anyhow, it's very important to ask for a receipt and also keep a receipt. It ensures that both of the size, both the issuer and the recip recipient, you both have a proof of exchange of services for which has been paid and which has been fulfilled. And it is a totally legal document that you have every right to ask and you are obligated to give also, Atu. Right, I'll to state uh, perhaps the obvious, is it legal for any entity to transact without a memo or a receipt? Or in this case, a chalan? Uh, yeah, uh, memos, for example, when you buy things from the shop, yes, and the shopkeepers are not obligated, but in India, it is something that almost every decent uh, business establishment will give you. But however, if we look into the legislation of it, uh, for example, the, consumer, uh, the Consumers Protection Amendment Bill of 2011, which was introduced in 2012, says that it is illegal to transact in anything without issuing or receiving a receipt or a memo. So that particular amendment bill outlawed a person, f uh, a person refusing to give a receipt or a m memo in exchange for any goods or services, which means the citizen is entitled to it. So in the case of the business owners of New Market here, I think they are entitled to it. We have not really heard the entire story from both the sides, but what we know here is that the grievances seem to be very real and that has been s happening for quite a long time now, Atu. Right, let's talk about something that's not foreign to us here. We're talking about extortion. So yeah. I mean, uh, extortion refers to forced monetary payment without offering goods or services, while uh, legal taxation refers to monetary payment mm -hmm. and returns for goods and services. So however, uh, in this case, legal entities are alleged to be uh, exacting tax without giving out receipts. What might uh, define this? Yeah, uh, we just listened to our reporter's uh, interview of the two sides here and it's very surprising because a legal entity such as the sales tax department, income tax department, the sales department, they are obligated no matter what. Even if the shop owners say, no, we don't want chalan, just we'll pay the money and we'll just go on with our lives. Even if they refuse to take the chalan, it is an obligation, a legal obligation for the department to issue the chalan, issue the receipt, no matter what. So I'm very confused here. But anyway, to the question here, 
if you issue, uh, if you issue, if you take something and do not issue a receipt, then practically, even if you are a legal entity, such as us as a government agency and such as a government department, you, it is still something that amounts to extortion, because uh, just as the business owners were saying just now. Uh, what is this sales tax for? What is this tax for? We don't even know what this tax we are paying for is, and we are not being given receipts for it. And we need to know what, oh, for what reasons these funds are being utilized. So, even the sales owners, even the business owners, are very much confused here. So, uh, my point is, even if you are a legal entity and you are exacting something and you do not give an acknowledgement of something. Acknowledgement, it could be in, the, in in terms of receipts or a legal document. Then I think it amounts to extortion. To that is basically uh, that that is what I believe. Right, and also referring to the data that uh, we have from a report here, the business owners have said that this has been continuing for the past ten or so years. Mm. So does this mean that the local authorities have yet to act on it? Yeah, uh, it's very surprising uh, to. Uh, that this has been going on for 10, 15 years now, and according to one person there, it is, it is almost about 15 years now that this right. practice has been going on and we are getting to hear it only now in 2022. So there are two ways to it here, Atu. First thing, the business owners, they might have already complained to the authorities and the authorities, the local authorities in Dimapur, they have not yet taken action on it. That might be the first case. Second, they have not actually uh, complained to the authorities and the authorities, uh, they are yet to be aware of this, this happening right now and they are yet to take action in this regard. So there are two ways to it. So right now we don't know the whole story, but what we know is that the grievances have been raised and the business owners, they are threatening to take a legal recourse in this case. So uh, let's let's see what further details uh, we will have in the coming days, Atu. All right, Al, that's all we have for the discussion for now. Thank you so much for your inputs and thank you so much for joining us tonight. Thank you, Atu. Moving on to the next news. The United States has said that it would not endorse Rahul Gandhi's statement that Modi-led PJP government is bringing China and Pakistan closer together. It is left to the Pakistanis and PRC to speak to the relationship and the spokesman certainly won't endorse those remarks, a U.S. state spokesman said while addressing a department press briefing on February 3. ISD on February 2nd, Congress leader Rahul Gandhi in the lower house alleged that the center's foreign policy is bringing China and Pakistan closer. I, I will leave it to the Pakistanis and the PRC to speak to their uh, relationship. I, I, I certainly would not, um, uh, would not endorse uh, those remarks. The single biggest strategic goal of India's foreign policy has been to keep Pakistan and China separate. What you have done, what you have done is you have brought them together. Thousands of Andhra Pradesh government employees on February 3 marched on the streets of Vijayawada city in protest against the recent pay revision. The BRTS road resembled a sea of humanity as the agitation employees and Teachers from across Andhra Pradesh undertook the Chalo Vijayawada rally, demanding the government immediately withdraw the dark orders related to pay revision. Organized by the Nagaland Postal Division, a three-day state-level online philatetic exhibition, Naga Pex 2022, has begun today for the first time in Nagaland at Hotel the Oriental Grand, Gohima. Speaking on the exhibition as chief guest, Som Kame Postmaster General North East Tudimapur stated that Naga Pex 2022 online exhibition aimed to promote Pilately and to showcase India's rich cultural heritage which, while observing the Azadi Kamrit Mohatsav. Let's have a look at a detailed report. 
First time exhibition more na stage the aji kuriya se to apni laga touch aro idu exhibition la aporte apni age din ahi bolay din de ki expectation kuriya se alab mogaan ke share kuriye. Actually today uh, we are uh, ha- holding this uh, the first Naga Pax that is Naga is a thing from Nagaland and Pax is philatelic exhibition is a short form so Naga Pax 2022. Usually we have it in physical mode. That is in a place where we have exhibition hall and stamp are exhibited physically. But this year, because of the pandemic, and at the same time using this uh, as a platform, we are trying to reach out online through te- our uh, telecasts and also through our website and all these things. The participant will be there, and the aim of this whole exhibition is to promote uh, the. Philatelic uh, activities in the state, for the, especially for the young people. Philately is not just collecting of stamp; it it is a study of stamp. So it tells you that uh, it can be on any theme, or it can be on uh, like culture or sports or 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 even like World War Two, World War Three. You know that sort of thing. You can uh, any thematic collection you can do, and As you uh, you know cal- start collecting and you it adds value as the years go by the value as I said already that is like investing in a stock market. We need to inculcate in our children how to collect stamp and because it teaches not just about saving or just not just about collecting but it also teaches you about the that place ka culture the country's culture or other countries uh, uh, you know culture and all this uh, you need little bit of uh, technical help so this exhibition will also teach the children how to collect how to preserve them for long and how to uh, make uh, collect in such a scient- uh, in a scientific way and preserve them and these are taught by expert during the exhibition and you can raise queries through our <coughs> website and others and the aim especially in the uh, in nagaland is to uh, promote in among our students apni laga observation is apte it philatelic it hobby no le video stamp collection kurala especially in notice as well as in nagaland how popular is it i think uh, stamp collection is a very old hobby they used to say that stamp is the collection king of hobbies because it is it, it, so many people are involved from children to old people and in nagaland also we have some very senior philatelists and uh, i would not like to name them is not nice but we have more than you know we have a uh, network of around 100 or so serious collect- collectors in the notice we have more than 3000 collectors and they all are uh, uh, participants aaj hamohan edo competition korea do categories 1 to 6 thagi she classes koine to edo 1 to 6 to edo philatelic san competition aro category 7 thagi she edo classes 7 na etare hole to sob open category aro 8 thagi she 8 category te hole to youth edo hando school students kan aro amohan edo classes bi divai korine age group ruise age group dui ta thagi she to age group dui ta de to 13 to 17 aro 19 and above ina gurine aman category duita guriche to yate hamohan student competition de competition student competition de 16 participant aise aro exhibit to hamohan 135 exhibit paise aro from invitees 12 renowned philatelists para hamohan exhibit pa to 721 exhibit paise online philatelic exhibition la theme to main to this time to it to preservation of indian rich culture heritage i invite you scan bara exhibit yado hamahans manohan na janya bi thagibo first time penny penny blade etu han bi exhibition da dine rakhi ase to manohan etu amohan laga etu website te www dot nagapex2022.com de তাহান তাদের যায় নি এই ব্রোজ করি নেই সাইসে কলে বেশি কিসিম কিসিম স্টেম সুন্দর সুন্দর পুরানা একদম রিয়ারেস অফ দ্য রিয়ারেস আমি দেখি হামাখান নাগালেন্ড একলাবি নহয় আউটসাইড নাগালেন্ড বারবি মানুখান এই তাহান লাইক জিবিট না 
display kuri chide. Someone aji apni gan bi itu ekta special cover kuri na itu apni gan release kuri chide. Ito itu lau porte alap kuri dibo parvo. Ha itu amahan itu amahan laga exhibition itu online exhibition itu commemorate kuri bolle. Ki karna itu la theme main theme do preservation of Indian rich culture heritage. Itu thagya para amahan itu sikri ni bi naga laga. Especially Angami Laga, Angami Nagas, Sikri Nye Itu every year celebrate Kure. So, Amohan Itu team lo de, Amohan bhi Itu ekta culture ase. Itu team hisap te, preservation of Indian rich culture. Itu hisap te Amohan Itu Sikri Nye. Itu team lo ina Amohan bhi Itu commemorate Kure Itu la special cover release Kure. That's all we have for now. Keep watching on Real TV.